Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be going over Feynman's integration tricks. A few things before we start this video. If you're not familiar with partial derivatives, whenever I say take the partial of, what I mean is, is we're just going to treat every other variable that we're not taking the partial with respect to as a constant. So it's a little bit different than implicit differentiation because in implicit differentiation, you differentiate everything. And if it's a different variable, you put with re what respect that we did it to. However, with partial derivatives, this is not the case. So anyways, let's continue on to the video. So we have this integral 1 over 1 plus x squared, all squared, dx. And this looks very similar to an integral like this, the integral of, of 1 over in the general form, 1 over a squared plus x squared is equal to 1 over a, um, it's a terrible a, times arctangent of x over a is the general form. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this known integral right here and differentiate under the integral sign so that we can solve for what the new integral computes. So the first step is to parameterize it. We've already parameterized it because we changed our number one to a. So we everything is good in that regard. So let's first rewrite this integral in an easy form to understand. So we'll do a squared plus x squared to the negative first, and then dx is equal to 1 over a times arctangent of x over a. Okay. So now, let's, uh, let's actually move all this a little bit to the right. So let's take the partial with respect to a of all this. This is what we mean by differentiating under the integral sign. So let's take the partial with respect to our parameter. So in this case, the partial with respect to the parameter here, we're going to have to abide by the chain rule. So let's move our one down and get the integral of negative a squared plus x squared and then since we're subtracting one as we do with any polynomial we're getting negative two okay but we have to remember the chain rule so we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside with respect to a so that would be 2a remember x squared is just a number so it's just going to cancel all it's all going to cancel out so it's going to be 2a. Okay. And then then remember dx. Now for the second part, we have 1 over a. We have a product rule type thing. So let's keep 1 over a the same. And the derivative of this is just 1 over 1 plus the inside squared. So 1 over 1 plus x over a squared. That's just its natural form. And then let's add, or hold on, got to remember the chain rule, sorry. So the chain rule, when we take the derivative of this with respect to, or with respect to, uh, what's it called? A, when you take it with respect to A, we still have X over A, so we have 1 over A inside. The derivative of X over A we can just move x on the outside, and one, the derivative of 1 over a is negative 1 over a squared. So, negative x over a squared. Okay. And now, let's add, now let's take the derivative of 1 over a, which is going to be negative 1 over a squared, and then just keep the other thing the same, as we do with any product rule x over a. Okay, so now that we have this, we can now rewrite this into terms that we can actually understand. So, and simplify everything down. 
So the integral of this integral right here is the same thing as here. I'll actually I'll probably need some space here. So hold up. Integral of two a divided by or of negative two a a squared plus x squared squared dx is equal to all of this. So here we have 1 over a, so we have, here let me, okay, so we have 1 over a, so negative 1 over, thinking maybe, I don't know what the best way to simplify this is, 1 over, 1 plus here. Let me let me let me check how I simplified it in my notes. Oh, I think I just you could just do uh oh you can just do um negative negative x over a times a squared plus x squared. Okay, and this gives us an uh, equivalent expression. And subtract 1 over a squared. Arc tangent of x over a. And there we go. Now, all we need to do is deparameterize it. So, let's first... Well, let's first notice that this is the integral of negative 2a over this quantity that we wanted. And as you can see, the quantity on the bottom is the same as we wanted at the start. However, the thing is, is that we have a 2a on a negative 2a on top. So let's divide that out. So negative two one negative one over two a to make sure everything cancels. And we're gonna get In the end, we have the integral of 1 over a squared plus x squared squared is going to equal, when we divide everything by, um, what's it called? When we divide everything by negative 2a, we're going to get x over 2a squared times a squared plus x squared plus 1 over 2a to the third times arctangent of x over a. Okay, so, forgot to add parentheses there, and let's extend the fraction line. Okay, so now this is the general form of this integral but we were asked to find this integral, and we chose the case where a equals 1. So from with a equals 1, we're going to get that this integral is – hold on a moment. There, there we go. This integral is equal to x over 2 times 1 squared is 1 times 1 squared – so 1 plus x squared. plus 1 over 2 times 1, which is 1 half, arctangent of x. And you can't forget to add plus c. And here you go. This is our final answer for this integral using Feynman's technique. So in summary, we first looked at our integral, and we, we saw an integral that we do know that may be on the formula sheet or that you just recognize. And what we did is we parameterized, i.e. took away one of the numbers and added a variable instead and solved for a general solution to the integral. And so when we derive or when, when we differentiated under the integral sign, we ended up getting 
negative a squared plus x squared raised to the negative second, which is what we wanted because it's close to what we have up here. And then we divided out our negative 2a, simplified, and then just took our integral and we got this solution. Anyway, I hope you like this video. You can put some requests in the comments. And Patricia, still need you to follow, still need you to subscribe. Um, also, bake me some cookies later today, please. If you're Patricia, send them over to the house. I'm not going to tell you what house, but just send them over to some random house. And anyways, goodbye, everyone.